So today we are going to discuss about uh, change man tool and its features. So basically uh, for the mainframes uh, in every production uh, project like in the production we'll be using the uh, version control tools for uh, development purpose. So as part of it uh, we may use change man or endure depends on the project and their budget and all. So coming to version control tool. Uh, so what is version control tool? You may get a question about that. So basically in mainframes for development purpose so first we'll be coding in a member of a PDS. Then we need to uh, run a job for creating a load module. So using that load module, we'll be running the job and we'll be getting our uh, coding output. So to avoid this process, uh, all this process, we can use the version control tool. So using version control tool, you will be making the changes uh, to your program and internally it will uh, create a load module which will be used to execute the uh, jobs for the code changes you have done so change man is used like that only so uh, why change man not endeavor so i made some research uh, on change man and endeavor what i came to know is like uh, when it comes to cost uh, the change man is less compared to the endeavor and and the major difference between a change man and your is uh, like uh, I mentioned in this uh, uh, presentation like uh, in the in the change man you can't do uh, you can't take the multiple programs into the change man package uh, simultaneously whereas in endeavor we can do that and again um, for uh, uh, like in the mainframes the data is stored in different regions and we need to test in different regions so for that after making our code changes we need to promote the code into a particular region so in the endeavor what it happens is like uh, when you uh, stage a component into a endeavor package uh, it will uh, directly go to a, a particular region what we mentioned in the initial stage only when we stage the component into the endeavor so that uh, no need to promote a uh, code again into a, a particular region whereas in change man we need to uh, com we need to first complete the uh, complete the code changes then we need to promote it so these are the major difference between the change man and and your coming to this session uh, i'll be i'll be giving the brief uh, brief explanation on the following topics so creation of package checkout of components staging of components edit delete and recompiling of components promotion a package promoting a package and auditing a package so guys you can tell me if i am going fast also yeah a little bit okay, okay. yeah so i'll be uh, going slow also now so so first uh, we will be going to the creation of the package okay so uh, in a production scenario uh, i work for an agile project okay uh, let me consider my work only so uh, in agile we'll be having a story or a task okay so if i get a, a task from the like uh, from my client first i need to what need to do is like i need to do analysis on my uh, analysis on my requirement then after doing analysis uh, what are the code changes what are the components do which i need to uh, make code changes i will be listing out okay so after listing out so main um, change man comes in comes into action at this stage okay so uh, we need to make code changes for making those code changes we'll be using uh, this uh, uh, change man tool okay so after listing out the components which we want to make code changes okay so we need to uh, uh, we need to take it into the change man okay before taking into a change man we need to create a package for our particular task okay so first the first of all we will be creating the package for that this is the uh, step one process uh, for the change man okay so initially uh, the change man home screen will be like this okay as uh, Venkat has said, uh, we can't show you the uh, change man tool directly from our project uh, screens and all. So that's why I searched all the through internet and take the screenshots for the best explanation. I tried a lot. 
uh, let me give you the brief into a brief about it okay so in this uh, after going to a change man screen we will be finding this screen okay so in that we need to give first for we need to take the first option for creating the package okay in the step two after giving option uh, option build first option uh, we'll be going to the second screen the screen will be like this okay in this we need to select create create a package one we need to give one okay after giving one yeah yeah if it is possible yeah. you can explain uh, the point uh, you know commands or options what you know very well okay you can briefly explain about each one of them uh, yeah, okay. but uh, uh, these options will be explained in other uh, other other topics. So mainly I'm concentrating on create. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Yeah. So first option is create. We are creating the package for that related only. I am discussing. Okay. So in the second screen, uh, we'll be uh, showing this one. In this, we need to select one. We will be giving. We'll be giving in the command line as one, and we'll be pressing the enter okay so after that we will be getting this screen okay and in this screen what will happen is like we will be having a, a multiple options uh, to create a package in a long method or a short method okay most most of the projects will prefer short method uh, the major difference between the long method and a short method is nothing but uh, in a long method we will be giving the uh, more information about the package in a description and at the same time uh, while the uh, code is going to the production uh, for a production team to understand what the uh, what this package is related to that information will be given in that description also so that's the uh, only the description is difference between the long method and short method okay and uh, next if you see here uh, package title so package title you can give your uh, jira story number or the task which you got assigned okay or you can give the application name over here package title and requested name requested name a person who is coding in this package you need to give that person's name okay and phone number also you need to give okay phone number you need to give who's the person is coding in this package is responsible for the installation of this package we need to give his phone number and here uh, here it's mentioned as change name change number but here we'll be having a work request id okay uh, it's a old version maybe but uh, here we'll be having a request id uh, request id is nothing but uh, it is generated while auditing the package it is a last stage in our uh, session we'll be discussing at that time okay and uh, coming to department it depends on project to project okay some projects will be having xyz some projects will be a b c d like that department should be mentioned yeah and next uh, in package levels we have totally four types okay so uh, if I discuss these four types now, it will be gets confusing. At last, I will be discussing about this package levels. For now, I am giving the package level as one. Okay, and package type. So uh, sometimes what will happen is like we will be getting an issue in uh, production. So we during that time we need to uh, create an emergency package. At that time, we will be giving an unplanned one. Okay. If it is a planned one means it's a as per the schedule if it is going the package for the install then we will be giving the plan okay and uh, package time span so this one is uh, this one is uh, like uh, sometimes uh, we need to run a SPR run like SPR runs means uh, means it's a, like a smoke test okay we want to uh, test the data how it's coming in the production okay so during that time we will be giving as a temp 